Hi, my name is Barry Crampton. Today I'm going to show you around our Mercedes GLE. Then I'll take you for a ride in it. But first I'll tell you a little bit more about it. It's a 3 litre GLE 350D V6 AMG line Premium Plus. G-Tronic, Formatic, Euro 6, 2016 on a 66 plate, great spec. Has done 68,400 miles exactly at the moment. Has a full service history, fuel economy, Urban 38.7 miles per gallon, extra urban 45.6 miles per gallon, combined is 42.8 miles per gallon, and it has a 0 to 60 time of 7.1 seconds, a top speed of 140 miles an hour out of a 254 brake horsepower V6 24 valve engine. Road tax is pretty reasonable too, 6 months is £159.50 and 12 months is £290. So we've got keyless entry, keyless lock, keyless go. As long as you've got the key on you, get out of the car, touch the little rectangle there, car locks, mirrors fold in, you come back to the car, put your hand behind the door handle and then it'll open. You've also got a button on the, or where the ignition is, the button comes out, you'll see it's the same as the key there. Uh, but once you've got this in, just press that and it'll start. Power folding door mirrors, the five spoke AMG piano black and diamond cut alloys, the LED intelligent light system, front parking sensors, the chrome Mercedes grille, um, the black spoiler finish on the end. Oh, I forgot. If I don't show you this, Lance will kill me. monster of an engine um, as I say big v6 lump a uh, very very substantial engine absolutely mint lots of spray on the way up here this morning it, weather forecast was supposed to be for it to be nice but uh, it was throwing it down and, and the, this, this car is absolutely beautiful I picked it up last night from Lance's uh, workshop it was mint i'm gonna to have to get it washed before i go back or it'll kill me has the contoured aluminium and plastic side steps the roof bars the pan roof looks like a complete pan roof on the outside but it's two panels inside over the driver and the, and, and the rear passengers d chrome around the windows rear privacy glass the rear spoiler Power open, power close, tailgate. Nice flat load area. Chrome scuff panel here. Um, oops, it's just dripped down my neck. Roller blind rear load cover. It has, uh, I did take photographs under here. Oh, got all my stuff on. So it's got, looks like a get your home spare wheel, a steel wheel. Reversing sensors, the black trim, the, the black um window surround matching trim on the bottom of that the two chrome exhaust tips if you won't be able to see this but just under there is the reversing camera which folds away it only comes out when you put it in reverse keeps it nice and clean which on a day like today with all this spray all over the place it's a that's a really good design feature so uh all all good I've got my seat all the way back, still got enough room. Uh, the, the back seats, as you can see, the headrest positioning is hardly ideal for an adult, but give it a belt uh, and that's it. It's, uh, it's just about right there. Nice light and airy. You've got this big panel, big glass panel above us in the back here, so it's certainly not claustrophobic. I've got the headrests up higher on the front seats as well than you would normally have, I think, because I've got me, uh, that's just in case you're wondering what that is. That's the headrest mount for my GoPros, which I forgot to take off before I videoed. So in the back here, perforated 
I'm assuming it's uh, Artico leather, the, the man-made leather. Um, we've got the carpet over mats, the magazine nets, and it's good to see these aren't all stretched and, and baggy like the, the, they usually go. Rear centre armrest here with two cup holders. So it's uh, it's a, a nice place to be, and I did notice it's got Harman Kardon speakers as well. So uh, if you enjoy music, then it, it's a, a good sound arena for you. Nice, lovely, lovely car, absolutely great. Okay, I'll just take you for riding it. So say that's the key again that I can just pull it out that's the little plug that goes into the switch so you can either use the the key which I prefer there you go press it um, it's got the easy access mode so steering wheel goes up allows you to get in then you're stuck with a key um, over here You've got the suspension height. If you click that, we're just going up. If I click that, I think it might show us. Uh, there you go. It's just showing us kind of going up there and the percentage at the side. Nobody's ever going to use that, I don't think, unless they, they go off road. We'll just click it to go back down again. And uh, it, it will do. And we've got the Bluetooth hands-free, Bluetooth audio streaming, Navi, and so on, and this, this touchpad here. The, you can knock the touchpad off, which I only found out last week, and, and to be honest, I prefer this rotary control, so you can use both of them. However, if you use the rotary control, and you, you've got big, stupid Mars bar fingers like me, when you go to use that, you end up touching the touchpad, and it, and it goes on to something you don't want to, so <laughs> just, just be warned about that. Electric memory seats. I've set the first position, but we'll just see whether the second position goes there. All the mirrors will move and the steering wheel and the seat. Uh, we'll just go to position three. Even the headrest's moving. Oh, of course, it, the headrest's moving. It's, uh, it's on there. So that's, that's position one. Somebody uh, slightly smaller has been driving this vehicle too. I'll just go back to my position. Mirrors changing, steering wheel changing, seat changing, seat back, headrest. So it's it's all electric. It's uh, it's pretty good, and you, we've got the power folding door mirrors as well. We've got the Mercedes-Benz gear selector here on the right-hand side where your wiper uh, control stalk would normally be. So down for drive, up for reverse, and just click in the end there for park. One more thing. Uh, one more thing, man. In Colombo. 27th of the 10th, 2017 at 16,215 miles, Mercedes Benz Lincoln. 10th of the 9th, 2019 at 42,232 miles, Mercedes Benz Derby. 3rd of the 9th, 2020 at 52,446 miles, Mercedes Benz Derby. Now, we think it's been done. It's been, the chaps had it done at Mercedes Benz every time. We think it's been done. It's not really due for one. Um, however, whoever's done it hasn't entered it onto the system. Um, we've no receipt for it, so we're going to do the service again before it goes out. Right, so we're in drive. We've got the Mercedes-Benz handbrake is there. That's telling me somebody was just going past and not to pull out. And with a bit of luck, there'll be a there'll be a vehicle up the road here, which uh, I found quite interesting, and, and wouldn't mind something a set up something like it. I'm going to try not to disturb them. There we go. It's uh, hopefully you'll just be able to see there. That's that's quite a good quite a good thing I like, 
I like they've got the socks out to dry. That's, uh, so that's, that looks like it's one of those Chelsea truck things. And that's where a firm takes a, a Jeep Wrangler, makes it look worse, <laughs> puts some nasty wheels on it, uh, sprays it matte, and then charges about 20 grand more for it. So nice work if you can get it. So the, the GLE, nice car. We've had a few GLCs. I'm not so sure we've had a GLE. I can't, I can't just remember. But the wheelbase on the GLE is a little bit bigger and uh, more forgiving on the bumps here. It's a lovely car to drive, well finished, three position electric memory seats, the sport seats, the heated, the, that's the heated seat there, three position, and even one is too hot for you um, after a short while, so I don't know what to use, but uh, they're like thermonuclear. You can see that the, the steering round here and the suspension is tremendous. It's a good looking car. Quite a bumpy road. We've got the sunroof, the, the twin sunroofs. This first one, there you go. That will tilt, and if I click it back there, like so, will slide, I think that's first position. And then all the way back. He's going a bit fast. In fact, going very fast for these conditions. That's it closed, and then just click that down, and the shade band comes across. I prefer the uh, I prefer it when it's open. I'm going to go back this way to the motorway, a little bit different. I prefer to go through the country, but um, people watching seemingly prefer a bit of what it's like on the motorway as well, which is probably more where it's going to be used. narrow road, I'd usually meet somebody coming around this, this one. I'll turn the heater down, it's got a good heater as well. Pheasants, going out of the way pheasants. Nice driving position. Actually, I know what I need to do. Which I forgot, but there's nothing behind me. People can see me from both directions with plenty of time to brake and uh, Must have been on. So <clears throat> get the old video glasses on.
Down here we've got cruise control. You can of course use the sat nav from here. We'll click back there. Brings the menu up, radio, media, telephone, vehicle. Click on vehicle. Vehicle settings, dynamic select, and you can configure it there. That changes the way the vehicle's set up. Dynamic select. Locator illumination. All right, so that's your puddle lights and your um, the lights illuminate when you get home, supposedly, so you can see up your path. You'll see uh, the, the sun was out over there. When I was coming this morning, it was shrouded in mist around here. Quite lovely to drive, very easy to. I'm gonna have to switch that heated seat off. That's the display. I'll show you the cruise control when we get on the motorway. The electric seats there. We'll just go back to Navi when I get around this corner we can see where we're going so we'll just go back to Navi there and zoom in there we go you see what the road's like ahead of us when there's any bends coming up. I prefer it in the way you're heading. Let's just see, can we bring that up? Now the options, go down to options, route settings, map orientation, that's what we want. North, heading up, that's what we want. So there you go, that's how I prefer it. I want to see what's coming up ahead of me. Over that uh, cattle grid there, can't really tell a thing going down, just going down on the side there to uh, get the seat back or the seat reclined. Just memory one, it's as simple as that to change your new settings speed limits and cruise control here I'll just uh, again there's nothing coming so here we go if you just look down there that's it it's that uh, clicks the speed limiter on the orange light knock that off and just to set it you just click up like so um, so the cruise controls there indicator there and just here that's your electric steering wheel um, all nice setup really. The uh, 3 litre V6 engine is a beast. As I said before, it, uh, you, can, you can really feel it over the front wheels, the, the weight of the engine over the front wheels feels very, very planted. takes off effortlessly in here in the front center armrest you've got two USBs there I think there might be something else but I don't want to take my eyes off the road because you always meet somebody like this coming the other way in the country something waiting to kill you around every corner Oh, 
I like the side steps. I like the contoured look of the side steps. Obviously, a lot better for your uh, aerodynamics, I would say, than the, the things that are just bolted on. Although the brackets probably will be behind, be behind the, uh, the the tire profile, they still look better. These. And they've got the, the non-slip kind of grommets on the top, the pattern. Big pothole there. This, the, the Mercedes um, and the BMW X5, they feel more planted than a Range Rover. They're not, but they just feel it. They're, there's certainly the lower profile tyres and, and the bigger profile. Um, you can feel kind of more of the road and you feel like you're more in, well, you are more in contact with a, a bigger tyre uh, surface. But, it also feels like a, a sportier drive. I did the video for pairing, deleting, and uh, your mobile streaming audio. So the the sound system in here, Harman Kardon. Um, I, I do prefer Harman Kardon. I actually bought a Harman Kardon system myself. Out of all the ones to choose from, so we'll just. Wait till we get around this corner, Baz. <laughs> this, this is lethal. It really is. There you go. I'll just, I'll just show you here. <laughs> you can't see a thing. All right. So down here, click forward, brings up the menu. Turn the rotary control across to media. Click on media. That's on disc at the moment, so we'll click it forward again, click on media again, and now it brings up your choices. Bluetooth audio, that's what I want. Bluetooth audio device paused, so it's recognised it. I've seen all the girls. Lindy's phone. I remember now why I go the other way and not this way. The the roads are wider on the other route. You've also got, you can put it in manual here, like so. So that changes to manual, shows you what you're on. There's a pedestrian here, so I'll uh, watch where I'm going. But you can also use the paddles. That changes it back to manual. There you go, manual four. Hell of a turn of speed. I'll show you when we're going on the motorway. This, this isn't the time or place for speed and acceleration. Auto wipers there. Oh, 
on the dash here. There we go. That's the one I like to see. Um, showing me my range, consumption, and also if you look, when I take my foot off the accelerator, it's showing you it's pumping power back into the battery. So kind of a regen in. I think it stores the electric for when you need it the most. And uh, if anybody remembers the old days, whenever you used to switch your heated rear screen on, the engine would slow down and that's because of the load on the alternator. So the more load on the alternator, the harder the engine's working, the, the fewer miles to the gallon you do. So, I, you know, I, I'm assuming that's the principle behind it. Nice and quiet on these country lanes. And, and also, the suspension, um, it, it allows you to move, um, I'm trying to think of a, a word, to, rhythmically, I suppose, in time to the car, rather than, some, say, something like an X5 with the um, M Sport suspension on it, where you go bang, 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 the, the driving along here with a car, you, you like, you know, you, you can just alter or shift your body to remain comfortable rather than being jolted. It's still not as good as a Range Rover, but you have to remember this isn't British. It's a nice car though. I have to say that I'm uh, I'm really a, a, a big Mercedes man. I, I preferred the old style the big kind of tanks, uh, the, the big slab-sided S-Class and so on, and the ML when it came out. But uh, I worked for Mercedes for a while, and it was some of the happiest times being employed by somebody else. And my employers, the people that were horrible. So you can take them out of the equation and it was our sales team and the cars. It was so different to me to work at a garage where you didn't have to hide from your customers when they came back. If you saw them pulling up on the car park, you didn't have to go and lock yourself in the boot of a car or something because you thought it would be a warranty claim. The only time you saw your customers was for service um, and also when they come back to buy a new car. Um, the, we used to get the Sunday papers and give free Sunday papers out. And that was a Mercedes-Benz idea, not our garage, by the way. And our customers used to come in on, on Sundays, so you know, you, you'd have a chat and a coffee with them. And some cars or some firms, you're almost afraid of seeing the especially if you're out in a restaurant or something you and you see somebody or is that i saw somebody in the south of france once that i'd sold the car to um there are certain times when if you if you live in the town where you sell cars i know of course i've lived around preston most of my life now so most people know me um cars are being sold all over the place now so that, that kind of counteracts it but you know Mercedes-Benz all cars go wrong these days we can't make them better than they came out of the factory and all the things that go wrong on all the different cars aren't usually made by the manufacturers most of the manufacturers in fact probably all of them 
don't make their own electric, somebody else makes them. And, and that's the sort of stuff that goes wrong. When you get down to the engines that, that the manufacturers make, they're all right. Um, all the problems seem to be with the electrics, but that's it. So we, we'll get back to the car. Here we go, there's cruise control. How fast am I going? I'm just going a little too fast, actually. I'm just gonna pull out here, and I'm gonna set this 67, 70 miles an hour. So the cruise control is set to 70 miles an hour. And there we go. So the cruise control is just there. We've got one of the other things I like on this car, on the display, if I can find it. That's the digital display, so no ambiguity. And there's also eco display. Now the car's been ticking over while I've been uh, photographing it. So, you know, the, the more those segments are, are green, the better you're driving, the, the more miles per gallon you're getting. Now let's just see if I go to, if I click that back, click sideways, Navi, audio, telephone, assist, click assist, oh, too slow. Oh, there it, no, actually, I, I wasn't too slow. I'm just gonna pull back in here. That's your driver assistance. You see there, 70 miles an hour limit on the road you're on. And then if you get too close in the front, the red triangle there comes up and tells you to back off. If you get closer than that, or if somebody, as usual, you leave a space, see that you'll see the, the red triangle's gone off now, there now. Um, as usual, if you leave a space, I'm just gonna drop back in here. I don't like being in the middle lane, even though I, he's not doing 70. Um, you leave a space in front and somebody drops in front of you and nearly takes your wing off, then uh, it, it, it makes a noise. Just in case you were, you know, like some drivers do, texting or looking down at the phone or... Right. We're doing dead on 70. The temperature is set here that's bringing it up 22 23 you see 26 on the passenger side it's on the the driver's feet so if I click them if I click there sorry got it wrong there it's windscreen and then towards your face turn up like so the fan Click the fan up. Those are the controls. Good, good system. I'm just thinking here that uh, comfort. Get back onto comfort. This suspension was a little hard. As I was saying about people who just drop in. We've got the red warning up again. Click the cruise on to 50. So it's, it's, it's all nice. This brushed aluminium uh, is <laughs> fitted to the, the dash that round the switches and the, the switch gear on the gear tunnel, on your three spokes of your steering wheel and on your door cards. Looks pretty classy. Same round the vents and also your paddle shift here all matching, quite stylish.
cruise set to 50. like we're gaining on the car in front even though we're set to 50 so so right we're going down to 40 here that's as you see if you watch there we'll just see if it picks up this 40 sign as we go past it there you go gone to 40 um, I really do think that's a great system because sometimes I was gonna, you're not exactly daydreaming but you, you just don't you aren't aware of the speed limit change especially if you're in a new place and I always see traffic cams and you, and you see them and you, you, your first instinct is to brake because you think oh I, am I doing the right speed because there's some in 50s there's some in 40s there's some in 30s um, all you need to do is glance down at the dash and you've got your 40 mile an hour glaring away there. If I knock it across, service, settings, click OK, instrument cluster, light, vehicle, convenience. So we'll go to light, click OK on light, intelligent light system, as we mentioned before that's your puddle lights and also you get up your drive get in your door lights um, the unfortunate thing is that it always takes me longer to get in the house because I always have to uh, wait for the lights to go out I can't trust them to go out on their own it's like the, like the fridge light we'll just get to 70 and then Click the cruise on, cruise control, 60, 69 at the moment. So if I click it up, that's 70 miles an hour. Just goes up. If I hold it, it will go up in a, a bigger jump. So it, it, it's a nice car, um, another one, it's finished in metallic blue with the, the, the black upholstery. It's also showing me at the top there in kilometres per hour. I'm, uh, I'm going to finish the test drive there. As I say, it's it's another great car that we've we've not taken in part exchange. We've bought it, and there can be no higher praise than going out specifically and buying a vehicle. You've no choice about the the cars that come in part exchange, to a certain extent anyway. But when you buy something, you you know, you obviously believe it will be no trouble and it's a good car, um, good history and, and you're happy with everything. So again, I can recommend it. And uh, I'm just trying to remember somebody, uh, I'm sure somebody messaged me to ask if I'd do a road test of a GLE. Just have to remember who it is now. So thanks for watching anyway, and I'll see you in the next video. Ta-da.